Hi everyone, my name is Babalo and I truly believe that Mut Kimut Kabatu and if I have seen far it's because I stand on the shoulders of giants. I was born in October 1993 in Kronstadt in the Free State where I stayed with my parents and two sisters. Funny enough, I went to primary school at Kron Primary and then I went to high school at Kronstadt High so that gives you an idea of how small this town was. For me, actually, it, it means a lot. I really want to be a role model and that's the experience and the feedback that I've gotten throughout my journey. I've probably touched a lot of people's lives without even noticing it. And I think the main reason for that is I believe that I'm truly an authentic person when I get to the workspace. My journey to where I am today, I actually started in the life, product and pricing, uh, then moved over to non-life, where I've done casualty underwriting, I've done property underwriting, I've done a bit of innovation, I've went into consulting for a couple of years, where I did a bit of reserving, uh, some capital and a few interesting stuff regarding cost benchmarking and financials. Being an actuarial scientist is really all about are you able to use data? Are you able to connect with people? Are you able to extract the right insights? It's really all about problem solving and for me that's really what it means to come to work every day. So I currently specialize in non-life insurance and in terms of non-life it's basically everything that doesn't have to do with life or the human being. Throughout my journey I've probably tried most of it so the first thing that you need to understand is there are different classes or lines of businesses that's when you speak about property, casualty, motor, marine, aviation, cyber, the works. For us it's a matter of where is the challenge, how do we tackle it head on and find a solution and for me that's what non-life is all about. It's about seeing the new, the different, the innovative and probably using traditional solutions to be able to sort it out and find a plan or a solution at the end of the day. So my advice to student writing exams is you really have to know yourself and it's probably easier said than done. You probably went through your high school years, you were a top learner, you get into um, an actuarial science degree. And for me, the light bulb moment was um, calculus in first year. It really humbled me and showed us that actually we're all smart, we're all on the same level. I studied in Bloemfontein, so it was a small class. Um, we really supported each other and realized each other's strengths and tapped into them. There were a few guys in our class that are really quite strong in maths and they're the ones that actually started explaining to us in terms of how do you do the analysis, what do you need to look out for. I was probably much stronger when it came to more your economics and your stats and then that was my strong point. I was the coach person in terms of that then overall for me is the first part is really know yourself what are your strengths and what are your weaknesses once you understand your weaknesses identify these strengths in other people and then those are the people that you go for to ask for advice to tutor you and um, figure out how do you make it work and then the third advice will be you really need to do past papers and when you do past papers it's not to do past papers to check the memo and memorize the answer it's to do past papers break down the question break down the answer and really understand how do they get to this point because once you get to the later exams it's no longer a matter of looking at it from an analytical point of view. It's really more how do you explain the situation. There's no right or wrong answer. So from a study perspective, think about it from what are your strengths and weaknesses? How do you tap into other people's strengths? And then how do you really look at past papers in a way that you pull the right insights and are able to gain the knowledge that is valuable, not just to pass the exams, but to help you in terms of your work career as well. Something interesting also about me, during my varsity years, I actually had a life coach. So I tried this thing called pageantry and uh, actually got a life coach to assist me through it. And one question that uh, he asked me was, what makes me different? What makes me stand out from the next candidate? And through that, I went home and really thought about it and went back to my childhood. So my first name is actually Gatleho and Gatleho means success. And my parents always told me that I am going to be successful, but they only ask of me is that you take care of that success. So that's my second name, Babalo. That's what it means, nurture, treasure, security. So in terms of me, I have probably went through life with this amazing mindset that 
you are going to be successful. Your only responsibility is to take care of it. And I hope that you go through life, through your degree, through your career, thinking the same, that you're going to be successful. Yes, there are obstacles along the way. There's a lot of ups and downs, but then with the ups, enjoy it. And with the downs, know that always, there's always a lesson to be learned and it's for you to take it and run with it and know that take up every opportunity that comes to you and really make it your own. I am Katleho Babaloma Kupu and I'm actually because I want to teach the youth to take up space, let us cement ourselves in this profession and be the change that we want to see.